All right, guys, I'm just out riding, and look at this. There was once a, a shitty L stuck there. <laughs> no more, no more. The L plates are gone, um, finally. But I thought I'd just sort of talk about the whole experience of, uh, well, kind of the experience of getting L plates off, basically, in the UK. No, obviously I'm on a 125, it's basically the same for any bike you've got, apart from you just do it on a more powerful bike. And I just came down here, uh, this road, to sort of start off the video, and it turns out it was some, like, fucking millionaire's pad. There's some big houses around, sort of just out of where I live, there's loads of little, uh, little fucking villages and shit, and they just, uh, have massive houses on it, like that, that probably just goes down to one guy's, like, fucking pussy pad playboy mansion area. But anyway, not what I was <laughs> not what I was planning on talking about. I'm actually sort of on the way up to uh I call it the racetrack in the hills. So that is basically what it is. And I thought, well, why don't I talk about my experience of uh passing my motorbike test. So yeah, I did pass it the first time, which I was surprised about. Especially considering the fact that um I did no lessons whatsoever. Um, I literally just watched a lot of YouTube videos on uh, on how to pass it and people's recordings of them passing and all this shit. So in, in case you don't know how it's laid out, it's basically there's a module one and a module two. Uh, module one's like car park, well there's a theory test as well, but um, the two riding parts. Module one's car park, sort of riding around the car park, uh, going around cones and shit. And then the second part's just literally you riding around on the road. At one point they um, tell you to follow signs to a certain location and you just gotta follow the signs and get yourself there. He did uh, tell me to stop at one point, like, and I, w I wasn't really sure what he was saying. Oh, no. Didn't want to get behind a learner. He told me to stop at one point, and um, I had no idea what he was talking about, because the earpiece they give you is the, the shittest earpiece I've ever had the mispleasure of wearing. It, like, fucking just crams next to your ear, and I got big enough ears already, so it made it really fucking uncomfortable. But so I could barely hear what he was saying and he was trying to get me to stop. But he was telling me to go to the left and I kind of struggle with my left and right. <laughs> so uh, I fucking had no idea like what the hell he was asking me to do. So, like, so I just carried on going and then he started going, stop, stop. <laughs> so I was just like, oh shit, I think I should probably stop or pull over. So I just pulled over and apparently that was fine. I, th I don't know how many miners are allowed. It's probably like 10 or four, 10 to 15 sort of uh, miners that you're allowed to get. And you're not allowed any majors because that deems you unsafe to be on the road. Um, but I got five miners. One for answering a safety question wrong, because they ask you a safety question, which is fucking bullshit, because I've done the theory test, but I got one wrong, because they're meant to ask you three of 13 questions, so there's like 13 possible questions they could ask you, and they're meant to ask you uh, three of them. But he asked one that wasn't one of the 13 questions, which is fine, because it didn't, uh, and uh, overall I passed anyway, so it's no big deal, but uh, it was a bit cheeky, you know, a bit cheeky. What are my other miners for? I went through an orange light, but, you know, what can you do? I'm used to pulling away at the orange because I want to be at the the front of the traffic. Fucking hell, this hill is uh, a lot steeper than it probably looks on camera. It probably looks like a fucking flat hill on camera. Top speed of 50 mph is going up here. My uh, module one though, that went really well. I didn't have any uh, miners or anything in that. Basically, just all you got to do is just make sure you're constantly looking over your shoulder. Oh, hello. Oh, he's going for the overtake. Oh, 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 oh! He fucking done it! He fucking, he fucked the cyclist! Oh, how did I manage that one? Not a clue. But, um, module one went fine. You basically just got to look over your shoulder, like, every fucking five seconds so they know that you're aware of what's, like, around you or some shit. I had to push my bike around, and in terms of bikes, this is a fucking big bike, and in terms of people, I'm a pretty short people, so, uh, fucking, that was interesting. I had to, uh, 
push it around and it I don't normally push it the way that you're meant to push it I sort of just hold on to the handlebars and move it around which is what most people do anyway I think but you're meant to have one hand on the seat and looking behind you and fucking fingering your arsehole at the same time so you've only got to get it right once really don't, yeah, I mean it doesn't really matter after that yeah module one overall did some slalom did a figure of eight slow ride I think that's pretty much it there's not a whole lot to it it was about 10 minutes long for a fucking half an hour ride up there or more I don't know but I, I like riding so you know it was all good fun and uh, then module two yeah just oh fuck me fuck yeah no didn't expect them to stop quite like they did anyway but yeah, that was module two was a bit more interesting. I got lost. I basically I did it at a place called Salisbury, and if anyone is around this my area, which is unlikely, but um, the, Salisbury is basically a complete fuck fest for traffic and roads. Like it's an old city, like really old. So the road layout is absolutely terrible. Like none of this efficient layout like you get uh, nowadays in all the new ones, new cities and shit. So it's uh, like really fucking bad traffic and uh, roads are just really like windy and you get lost on it easily. And basically I went to Salisbury, I've never ridden around Salisbury before and my test was there. So I thought I'd turn up an hour early and just ride around for a bit. And I ended up getting lost and I really nearly uh, missed my module, uh, uh, really nearly, m m wow fucking hell that's a tongue twister. Really nearly missed my module 2 test um, because I was lost so then I just fucking pulled over my test was at 32 past 2 and it was half past 2 and I pulled over and I was like oh shit a licker dicker so, um, I'm late so I just fucking went in a direction that I looked that looked good that I sort of recognised and just overtook about 100 cars at once just because it was just standstill traffic and then I managed to make it there I was only like 5 minutes late or so and the, they, they were pretty prompt they, they didn't want to hang around when I got there they were quite keen on getting me around and uh, getting me on my bike and off but I think the fact that I was late meant that he didn't really do the whole route or some shit so you know I think I probably got a good deal from that I'm pretty sure I should have failed like I was not riding on point because I fucking uh, I've never ridden around Salisbury before and it's just like I just don't understand it and I really shit my left and rights and stuff so I have no idea why I, I, I did a bit of fucking up but apparently I was safe with all my fuck ups, at least I was safe whilst fucking up, so I guess uh, there's, there's something in that, I guess. L plates off, what does it mean? Uh, well, basically, I can have people on the back now, which I'm on a 125, and it's not its not actually that bad, but it's not ideal having someone on the back. Like, I'd much, like you really want a 250 as the minimum to have someone on the back. Um, but it is i've had people on the back and my mate uh, came on the back the other day for a while and it is so fucking funny oh it's just it's just, like it's not great for practical uh, practical use you won't get up a hill very quick but it is just funny like and it's useful because me and my mate are gonna come back from the cinema later on this bike and uh, <laughs> he, he's got he's, he's a bit taller than me like not loads um, but he's a decent amount taller than me and a decent amount heavier and uh, it, it does make it interesting but he's a pretty good passenger so I'll be alright hopefully I won't die I'm, I'll probably record doing two up on a uh, 125 just because that's fucking funny people think it's funny doing a two up on a 250 but <laughs> you haven't seen the nought to 60 <laughs> I don't even know if you can go 60 you could I think on a flat we can just scrape 60 with uh, my mate on the back just like very just but it's just uh, more respect on the road and shit oh man is it what day is it I think it might be Wednesday Oh shit it is, it's market day. But yeah, overall, should you pass your test on a 125? I'd probably say yeah. Basically you get a CBT when you're 16 in England and you can ride with L plates on a 125 or a 50 or anything in between. And uh, that only lasts two years, so I got it when I was 16. I can't get a bigger bike till I'm 19. So I'd have had to redo the CBT when I was uh, fucking uh, seven, uh, 18 anyway, sorry. so. It just worked out basically like a good idea and I didn't have to do the theory again and all this shit It basically just works out pretty nice. It's not quite slow enough traffic to just whiz past everyone But it's slow enough to piss me off All right, let's see what markets we've got out today Bessie out with a, with a fishy stand Oh, Extra large tomato. Let's get straight in my basket. 
Mixed cheese? Ooh. Let's go straight in my basket. Ooh! Horses. Look at this fucking corner. Buses come around here, like fucking big double decker buses. Come around that corner. And you cannot fucking fit. Alright, oh, mate. That was my right of way! <laughs> Uh, big buses just get around that corner, and even on a motorbike, it's hard to uh, squeeze by them. But that's uh, that's just me. That's just me. Look at this fucking road. Uh, just along this road goes up to the uh, goes up to the racetrack in the hills, as I call it. That's about it. Look at these people playing golf. I just want to go and like do some burnouts and fucking tear up their uh, nice pristine lawn. But maybe that's just me being a bell end. All right, this is a 60 road. What am I doing? Let's just show you some uh, 125 power. Oh! Drop a gear, disappear. Bloody hell, he's over 60 miles an hour. I didn't know this was possible on a 125. 66. But anyway. This is the what we have looked forward to next video. That's it from me. Ta-da!